Alright guys, a quick update. Um, essentially, just want to let you know that I have finished my basic walking shooting script. Um, it's The Pyth main Python script is 165 lines. I'm going to see if it's possible in BGE for me to um, add another Python script and call it functions, walkfunctions.py or something like that, you know. And um, then all of these if loops, I will go ahead and run other loops inside of them because I I think and I'm pretty sure in the future I will be adding all of them and just to clean up the code and that's just what I like to do I'm used to doing that in PHP so I do so that my scripts don't get too complicated and I can easily go and edit one function you know a whole that whole sort of thing um, but essentially uh, I've added um, my single fire logic and all that for um, play action. I had a lot of trouble with the fire animation but that's all fixed. I had to watch part of my previous video and I hopefully I, I'm not repeating myself because um, it's been a little while. I'm not sure quite what it changed but yeah um, I'm going to be posting a link to this entire blend file to download um, and take a look at it. I did try and comment pretty much everything pretty heavily so you should know what's going on. Um, it does work quite well now. I can walk and fire at the same time. You know, I can, If I'm running, um, I made it so that if you hit the fire button, nothing actually happens. You have to actually get out of your fire or out of your run or run state before it'll fire. So, um, cause I was thinking before, you know, if you hold down the run button, you hit the fire, the fire should be preferential, but the coding was just a nightmare. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. It's going to work out, I think, a lot better. Um, I think I've worked out all the bugs. I s did have a random bug once in a while, it seemed like, where I would double fire. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, now it's doing it every time. Okay, well, that's something I'll have to look at. Um, still. Oh, it is doing it every single time now, too. Okay, whatever. Didn't realize that. It, it What it's doing is uh, I have fire count listed, and it goes up and down, or up every time you fire it. And it's, you'll notice now it's going up by two. It's happening every time. Back to the code. Great. I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry guys, I was... I had commented out this little line right here that uh, for testing, and I had not put it back in. So now, um, it's not going to double fire. The fire count is going to go up by one. Although I do have a bug again. Every once in a while, it goes up by two. Um, or one right after the other, so I'm not sure what that is. I haven't been able to figure it out. I'll take a deeper look at it later. I just want to get it basically working. But um, one of the important things I changed is I added an always sensor and I plugged it into my walk.py because I was having issues where it would get stuck in a certain thing and it wouldn't progress until I would uh, move. So I added an always sensor and um, true level um, triggering pulse mode to my walk.py so that it's running constantly. So it was definitely a necessity. So, um, other than that, uh, a few of the new uh, things I used, I don't think I covered these in the last one, is uh, send a message. Um, you can do it with Logic Brick, but it's a lot easier just doing it in your Python script. Right now it's just sending a message to our aim bolt, which is that little box out in front of the shotgun. Um, it kicks off the bolt hole and bolt force. and uh, I'm going to eventually send the message only to aimbolt because right now it's broadcasting it everywhere and there is an, op uh, an option for doing that. Um, other than that, not a whole whole lot else. Um, I did use a get action frame that just um, that's layer right there. It's saying whatever layer, whatever action is playing on that layer, see what frame it is. And that's just saying if we're over frame 19, um, reset our fire state back to not firing because otherwise we'll be able to fire, if we click the mouse as much as we want, we'll fire as much as we want, so just to make sure the entire animation is done playing before we can fire again, so that's how I that's how I did that, so um, the next thing we really need to cover that I changed is um, hold on, let me pause the neck that's right, I clearly defined um, the variables that I have um, if we take a look 
at this, we have all these variables. You know, run, fire, walk, uh, that one I don't need anymore. Uh, run, fire, fire count, and walk. Um, I added those. Fire count is just so I, I could test how many bullets I was firing at once. Um, the walk, fire, run, and you know, J state and on the knees here, uh, C state. I clearly define those in the script as um, run state, fire state, walk state, and iron sight, crouch state. So that um, in the if statements, you can use these. Um, so if it's and not fire state means it's it's not fire state is not equal to one. So in run state, not run state, that just makes it a lot easier to read. Um, but I figured, found out, or I actually don't know how I guess to set it without by doing like fire state equals one. I had to do own fire equals one on that, and whatever, not a big deal. <clears throat> so um, this is all heavily commented, so you can dig through. I will be posting this on the forum, a link on the forums at least, and maybe putting this on my blog. I don't know. We'll see. Wherever the best spot is, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing I really worked on. Um, that I'll cover in a separate tutorial is a menu. If I hit the P button, it's going to bring up uh, just a small menu. Right now, there's no animation, so you just have to, you know, uh, resume and exit, and you can just hit resume and you go back, and there you go. So, um, and I'll be working on HUD next. So, all right, that was just a quick update.